Freemasonry has had its fair share of famous brothers since its inception in the early 18th century, but perhaps the standout figure in the fraternity's history in the United States is the first President of the United States, George Washington. George Washington joined the Masonic Lodge in Fredericksburg, Virginia at the tender age of 20 in 1752. During the War for Independence, he attended various Masonic celebrations and ceremonies in different states. He was also influential in the formation of Masonic Lodges that were started by army regiments. At his inauguration in 1791, Washington took his oath on a Bible at St. John's Lodge in New York. Such was his allegiance to Freemasonry. Moreover, during his two terms as President of the United States, he toured the country, visiting Masonic Lodges and interacting with brothers, most notably in the Carolinas. Most famously, President Washington presided over the cornerstone laying ceremony at the US Capitol building in 1793, a proud moment in Masonic history. This event has also been the catalyst for many conspiracy theorists who believe that such an event is evidence that the Masons control the US government. After his presidency, Washington became Charter Master of Alexandra Lodge 22, where he famously sat for a portrait in Masonic regalia. Such was Washington's commitment to Freemasonry, he was buried with Masonic honours. George Washington was born in Westmoreland, Virginia, and grew up within a thriving planting community. Washington's grandfather originally emigrated to America from England and accumulated 5,000 acres of land, which helped support his family. Washington wasn't formally educated as a young boy, but was homeschooled and received additional lessons from a local church officer. Despite not attending school, Washington managed to learn various subjects, including mathematics, geography, and Latin, and so showed signs of his educational prowess from a young age. As has been mentioned, Washington became a Mason at the age of 20. Records show that the first recorded meeting at the Fredericksburg Lodge, where Washington would become a member, was on September the 1st, 1752. Washington was initiated as an entered apprentice at the Lodge in a ceremony on November the 4th of the same year. He paid two pounds three shillings to become a member of the Lodge. On March the 3rd, 1753, he passed to the degree of a fellow craft mason and was raised to the sublime degree of a master mason on August 4th of the same year. Washington was fiercely loyal to the Lodge in Fredericksburg throughout his life, which was renamed Fredericksburg Lodge No. 4 after the creation of the Grand Lodge of Virginia in 1778. Although he became a mason in 1752, it wasn't until later in life that Washington really began attending Masonic ceremonies frequently. From 1778, it is recorded that he attended many Masonic functions across the United States. For example, on the 24th of June, 1779, Washington attended the American Union Lodge's celebration of the Feast of St. John the Baptist. This meeting was significant, as it allowed Washington to meet with many of the officers and enlisted men within the Connecticut regiments. There is also a record of Washington visiting King Solomon's Lodge in Poughkeepsie, New York, in December of 1783. Throughout the war, Washington traveled throughout the states, meeting Masons and sharing stories. Once the war had ended, Washington accepted his friend's invitation to attend a banquet at Alex Alexandria Lodge No. 39 in June of 1784. After the ceremony, Washington was elected as an honorary member of the Lodge. In 1788, Washington agreed to be the Charter Master of the Lodge when it transferred its allegiance from the Grand Lodge of Pennsylvania to the Grand Lodge of Virginia. During his time at this Lodge, Washington was painted in full Masonic regalia, and after his death, the Lodge changed its name to Alexandria Washington Lodge No. 22. When tensions finally broke out into conflict between the British Crown and the American colonies, Washington was chosen to be the Commander-in-Chief of all colonial forces. After a long and brutal conflict, 
the American colonies under Washington's command defeated the British and won their independence. He retired to the fields of Mount Vernon after years of long battle and service to his people. Yet he was called up for service one more time and was elected as the first President of the United States by unanimous decision. As President, Washington tried to ensure peace and build the nation's capital. After Washington was inaugurated as President in 1789, there is a significant record of his dealings and correspondence with many Masonic local lodges and state grand lodges. Such was his enthusiasm and passion for Freemasonry. Washington's most significant act as a Mason occurred whilst he was President of the US. On September the 18th, 1793, he presided at the Masonic ceremonial laying of the United States Capitol cornerstone. When Washington was laid to rest in 1799, Brothers of Alexandria Lodge performed Masonic rites. While there have been many prominent Masons throughout history, perhaps none have been as significant as George Washington. As the first President of the United States and the founder of the nation's capital, Washington is arguably the most influential American of all time. The fact that he was a Mason is essential, as it helped shape his ideals as a man and as a leader. He wrote eloquently about his commitment to Freemasonry, and his attendance at several Masonic ceremonies throughout his life indicates the high regard with which he held his Masonic responsibilities. <laughs>